Today I'll prove you can create a city with characters in less than 40 minutes. One of two things will happen. I'll either make it or I'll get a cake on the face. I am confident because I will use iClone 8 and the new Crowd Simulator feature. You can follow along with me using the link in the description to download a free trial. How do we do it? In seven steps. One, just drag and drop the city. Two, create the paths that the characters will be walking through. Three, add the characters and make them walk using motion director. Four, create areas for idle characters. Five, add camera animation. Six, add the sky and a sunset flare. And seven, add some HDR effects and voila, we have an animated crowd scene. Now the challenge is doing all of this in less than 40 minutes or else I get the cake. My friend will be watching over me and most importantly, he will be watching the timer. Now here's the catch. I cannot look at the timer and I need to just do it as fast as I can. And at the end, I will see if I was able to do it in less than 40 minutes or not. Are you ready, Mark? Three, two, one, go. We start with step one, create the city. First, I need the city quickly. I will just go to help menu, Relution, content store. In there, I click on search, have iClone selected, then type modern city, and there it is. I found one that I liked for $30. Now, if I had all the time in the world, which I don't, then I wouldn't have to buy anything. I could do everything in Blender for free and get this project done in about a hundred years, but I'm against the clock, so I'm getting this. So now in iClone, I just click and drag and boom, two months of work in five minutes. Step two, create the paths. Now, before you do the paths, make sure you are on frame zero. In here, I messed up and I was doing it on frame 508. This is a problem. When I was doing the challenge, I didn't notice and that could cost me the victory. Back to the challenge. To create the paths, just go to create menu, path, and then click on the workspace to add the points. Put this in position, then if I go to the modifier panel, then click MD, I can change the width of the path for walking. Then I go to create menu, generate nav mesh. This will keep people from trespassing elements that they are not supposed to. Then I can click on edit point and change the width for individual points easily. Then I go to the other side of the street and add another path there too. We're done, this took like four minutes. Nice, I think I'm doing good with time. Then I can do some slight adjustments and we're done. Now step three, add the walkers. For this, I go to create menu, scatter, generate crowd. Then I go to content, template, pack, actor, actor group, and then select all the characters and click and drag into crowd generation box. I check deploy with variant materials. Then for the movement, I select IMD, go back to content, click back, animation, motion director, and then select these clips, click and drag into the box. And then I have the generation type on random, spawn region to pick object, then I click Click pick object and select the path. Now all actors are facing the same direction. I don't like that. Instead, I'm going to change the direction ratio to be in the middle. That makes the characters randomly look at different directions. Nice. Now I click on optimize nav mesh and that will have the characters deploy only on the permitted walk areas. Then I reduce the number of actors to 14 and I click deploy actors. Then I just repeat the exact same process across the street on the other path, which is easier because all the settings were saved. I just changed the number of actors to 10. You can click on generate placement to change the starting position. Then when I'm happy, I click deploy actors. Let iClone do its thing and voila, we have a populated city with walkers. Now I have to animate all of them. I go to window, MD control center, which stands for motion director, and I like to expand the actors list. Then I select all of them, click record, so everything I will do will be recorded. Then I go to the settings below, change the idle to move all the time and reduce the idle time. Then I also reduce the perform range. And this is when I realized I made a mistake. Damn, I made a mistake. I gotta fix it. Well then, time's running, come on. Oh. Fix it quickly, man. To fix this, just move the keyframe all the way to frame zero and then you can continue from there. So now with everything fixed, I go to frame zero and click on start in motion director and let the simulation play. While it's playing, I can move the camera around the character as if it was a video game. Pretty cool, right? And we're done. We now have a city with people walking around.
Ah, he was doing so good, so great. I don't know if he's gonna make it now. Step four, add idle characters. I go again to the crowd generation tool, but in here I change from IMD to motion. Then select idle clips for this, and with the settings on random and spawn region on volume, I click create volume. Then click and drag on the workspace to create an area with these characters. And then I set the random orientation all the way to one. I keep pressing generate placement until I'm satisfied with the positions and deploy actors. Now, I want to reposition some of these actors. I can do that easily by just moving them around and rotating them. Now, this one I do it manually. I bring these two characters and position them sitting down on a bench. For this, again, because I want to save time, I got a pack from Revolution Content Store called City Life. It has a ton of clips of just characters being idle in the city. Then, to repeat this animation clip, I just go to the timeline and then click and drag all the way to where I think it's okay. This will keep the animation looping. Then, I add these other characters sitting down there, and also these two other characters in front of the camera, make sure the animation is looping, and there! Mark, 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 Mark. Man, you have less than 10 minutes, come on. How much? Really, you wanna keep talking? I am about to finish. Step five, camera animation. First, I position the preview camera in place. Then I go to create menu, camera, orbit camera. Then I move forward in the timeline and then set the second position of the camera. Done, this one is fast. The camera animation is ready. I just like to do some quick adjustments and then we are on to the next step. Number six, add the sky and sunlight. For the sky, I go to template, set, sky, change to item, and select this sunset. Click and drag to the workspace and that's it. Then I add a lens flare by going to create menu, lens flare. And we have a lens flare. I just position it behind that building over there and we're done. Look, Mark already lost. Mark, he cannot leave that, so we're gonna let him be happy for a while, okay? Wait, 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 pause, pause. Mark, did you say 40? or 45 minutes. 40, how much do I have? I mean, I cannot tell you. I just need one minute and I'm done. I'm basically done. One minute, okay? Your funeral, man. Step seven, add HDR effect. This is done really quickly. I just go to visual tab, which if you don't have it, you can go to window menu, visual settings. Then go to the first setting, the atmosphere, scroll down and activate HDR effect. Then I quickly play with the settings and I'm done. Done. Wait, 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 close your eyes. So, the seven steps? I completed the seven steps, yeah. And well, before looking at your time, mm -hmm. what do you think is the result? Okay, honestly, I think you want to scare me, but time and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> Dude, I made it! You know? <laughs> Go on, look at the timer. <laughs> Three no! minutes, man. Three minutes. Uh, <laughs> the good thing is that I had the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no! It's tasty. I'm the monster!